Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're back again with Power World. This is such a popular game. And we're going to talk about FSR 3.0 Frame Generation Mod. But it's by Pure Dark. He just recently released his version of the mod for this game. And we're going to check it out. So this is the game without the mod. You can see I'm in the open world just running around. And we get like 20-ish, 30 frames. But we won't be able to reach 40 frames unless we uh, look at the sky. So if we look at the sky, I think we achieve 40-ish, yeah. Okay, so in the open world, yeah, just normally 20-ish, 30 frames. And if you take a look at my options, graphics, right, the preset is set to low. And you can see here, DLSS is like, we can toggle this on and off. And we're on the Steam Deck, so this is not normal. I've already got the mod installed, I just haven't toggled it on. So in order to toggle on Pure Dark's mod, you need to press the home button. So if you don't have a keyboard, I suggest you press the Steam button. Okay, so bring out the menu and just go to controller settings. And then right here, enable back grip buttons. Just toggle this on. And I normally just set the like R5 button to home. So I'll set this to home. So go to keyboard. And then set it to home. And I'm also going to set R4 to the asterisk button. Because that this toggles the frame generation on and off. So it's more simple. So let's just set it to the asterisk button. Okay, so now let's press the home button first. This is the UI for um, Pure Dax mod. So you can see here, I've got an option to enable frame generation. So once I toggle that on, you can see it's toggled on and like, let's run around the open area. So we get like 30-ish, uh, 40 in the open world. So there is an improvement and there's no UI flickering, but there is a bit of ghosting on the character, very little. Very, very little. All right, if we look in the sky, we get like 50 frames. So we know it works, but there's an issue. All right, so I could press the like asterisk button to toggle the frame generation on and off. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to press it right now. You can see the um, UI on the top right. When I press it on and off, it like has a little movement. All right, so this is, this is off. So we get 20-ish frames. You can see, look at the character. Look at the character. It, it, like, it looks smoother like when I'm running. All right, now I'm going to toggle it on. You can see, like, it kind of looks like the frame rate is higher, but the character looks, the movement is slower. Look, I'm going to turn it off. The so frame turn off now. You can see there's a boost in the character's movement. And then I'm going to toggle it on. Like it feels like sluggish. So I'm not sure if it's me, if it's just me, maybe like, I don't know how to install it maybe, or maybe it's just an early version and probably it'll get fixed. Yeah, so that's my experience with Pure Dark's um, FSR3 mod for Power World. Maybe I'll ask him about it on his Discord server. I haven't really talked to him about this yet, but uh, yeah, that's what I feel right now. Like, okay, let's toggle it on. See how, how, like, it just moves slower. The character feels sluggish. And then if I turn it off, like, it just feels, like, better somehow, even though we get less frames. So, yeah, that's um, how the mod performs right now. All right, let's go back to Steam Deck desktop mode, and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so see you back on desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Grown Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Alright, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh my god! 
Alright. Oh god, just put the sauce in. Woo! Mmm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is locate your game folder. I've got mine right here. All right, and inside the game folder, there's a folder called PAL and then binaries, Win64. This is where you want to put your mods, your, your mod files, okay? So I've got my mod files here, Pure Dark Mods. Okay, and this is the PAL world version. It's a zip file, and I'm just going to extract all this into the PAL binaries Win64 folder. Okay, so extract it here. And yeah, that's done with the files. Go back to your Steam, and then locate your game on your Steam. On the left-hand side, click the gear icon, Properties. Okay, make sure under Launch Options, you put like the um, hyphen DX12, okay? This is needed, so you're forcing the game to run in DirectX12 instead of DirectX11, okay? Because this mod requires the game to run in DirectX12. Okay, now we can play the game. Mm, let's see if the mod works. Okay, you can see we've got this HUD. All right, press home for the configuration overlay. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so this is the, the mod. It's working. All right, we're going to take AMD FSR thing, this one. And that's it. And then add-ons. Yeah, I think that's done. And here you can see we need to authenticate. So this is just a um, DRM that Pure Dark has put on his mods to enable that, you know, make sure that you've paid for it. So once you've authenticated, you've logged into your Patreon, then yeah, you can see we can enable frame generation. So that's how you enable the mod. It's fairly simple. Yeah, but I think there's still some issues with this mod for the Power World. But um, I, I think it only gets better. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one. Later. So I'm on Pure Dark's Discord server. Other than Power World, he does have other mods that work on the Steam Deck. So let's say The Last of Us, the added Steam Deck support. Red Dead Redemption 2, it says it supports um, Steam Deck, but um, I don't think anyone has got it to work yet. So uh, I might test that out. And also Elden Ring works on Steam Deck. All right, and some, they only work on PC. Uh, I think he'll add more support for Steam Deck later on. So if there's any game in this list that you want me to test out, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to fulfill them. Alright, so thank you for watching. See you guys next time.